Hello, and welcome back to the cove with more Surviving Mars. So, we are back with good old uh, planning for future issues. Got this dome that we've just set up, and I think we probably should uh, go ahead and set up some storage and whatnot so we can get rid of the uh, get rid of the annoying little um, what you call it pop up. That's the word. All right, so you know what? I think we could just go straight from here and oh, well, that would have been too perfect, wouldn't it? Hmm. All right, well either way, let's go straight there and then straight there all right that should fix that in due course and then what else can we do that should hang on a second why are you it is definitely this one all right um i think you are missing must be connected to an oxygen producer ah. well um where is the other end? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, that would be what was going wrong. So let's go ahead and plumb this all together. And... Oh, why not? Let's just go here and wrap it around. And that should solve all of that. So, at this point, our dome up here is connected to this uh, farm dome. This dome is connected to these two, and then over there, and this one goes down here, and then all the other three are connected. Okay, fantastic. So we just have one giant network for uh, our life support. Alright, uh, you know what we should also do? We should also make sure we have a couple of large water storages. So let's go... Now let's go one here, second one, uh, can we put one right about here? Yeah, we'll do a second one here, and a third one right about there, I reckon. Yeah, alright, and that way we can also plug in all of these things, so, go from there to there. And then from here to here, you know, we could probably take that all the way in as well. So that to deal with those, and then that is already a part of everything. All right, actually, you know what? We should probably make sure that they are connected. So we'll do that, and then maybe uh, can we go? Okay, so we can go to here. And then we'll cut across and bomb that in. Alright, fantastic. Oh, does that interconnect? Of course, it would click one short. Right, and now we also just need to plug in some power. And that will sort that out. And then we can chuck this one in. Nice. Alright. Well, since that is the case, let's go ahead and make sure we do the amplify. I don't think we need to waste anything for the field extractor, it's more than unnecessary. And then over here... Ah, uh, okay. We almost... We almost connected that properly, but apparently not. Must be built on... Oh wait, that's a uh, bell. We want one of these. There we go. Nice and easily done. Alright, so over here we should probably go ahead and set these to our standard amounts of 100 each. Uh, food, you know what, let's just make it 200. As long as we have it, that's all that matters. And everything else should be A-OK. -okay. I wish there was uh, somewhere we could see what our overall storage capacity was, though. Um, oh wow, that's that's very fast. That uh, all right, let's uh fill up with all the shuttles. Wow, look at that! That is a thing of beauty. 
Who would have thought when we started making new domes that we would be able to get all of our storage sorted that quickly. Oh, that is very nice. Alright, well, if this is the case, we should probably keep on going ahead and make sure we're chucking in more things. So, what do we want to do as far as our supply of this stone? Hmm. Well, we could try an arcology. We've never done that. We could also do cloning vat or the medical center. Now, realistically, the medical center is probably the best value for money. Although, let's see, maintenance of four polymers. Yeah, medical of three. Hmm. Yeah, let's go and try out this arcology. It only really makes sense that we should give everything a shot at least once in this run. So we will go ahead and do that. And we will also put in a handful of basics as well. So let's make sure we put in... What do we need? We need an infirmary. We need a diner. We also need to have... What is it? We'll do an amphitheater. We'll chuck in a little bit of decoration. Let's go with a fountain and what else do we need we'll probably go along with a security station as well as hmm I don't know we, we don't really need too much else now maybe we go with a second diner yeah I think I think a second diner is probably worth it as well as a, another infirmary just given that we do plan on having a fair few people here we want to make sure that everyone is catered for all right construction in process you now what well, that looks like a very cool building i i do like that one a lot actually and oh we can also home collective even better so people are going to be so comfortable here that is great that is really good. All right. Well, um, what else did we want? You know what? We probably should sort out a storage for all of these. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go with a regular dump site. I think it would be kind of a waste to do more than that, given how our shuttles are going to be removing things awfully quick. Um, yeah, that'll just make sure that we don't stop our production. That'll all go well. Alright, we're producing more shuttles. We've already filled up our water storages very quickly. Now, what else were we going to do? Oh, that's right. We were going to make sure we have a fusion reactor at all Research of our new bases. Complete. So we can put one. Where can we place one? we could do something as something fairly space efficient you know what it actually doesn't matter where we put it now because of our tech so let's just go and place that right next to the other one yeah that'll do and then we'll also do a let's say two atomic accumulators again overkill at this point but that is going to be what keeps us going Alright, so we'll do a triple electric scrubber here. We'll do another one there. Uh, no, maybe we just do a second one there. We'll cancel this one. That one is not as much of a uh, not as much of a prime position. And then we can do one here, one here, and then you know what? That should reach both of them. And was there anywhere else? Oh, okay, so we probably want to do the laser turret as well. So we can go one, uh, one here, 
right, and then maybe another one here. Yeah. That should be complete. fine. Alright, so we've got that built up. That was nice and quick. Let's go to our eternal fusion. Try to sort that out. Charging at 50. That is very nice. Again, we do need to be careful because these have an output maximum of 100. So if we don't have enough batteries, it doesn't matter that we have a lot. We'll draw too much. Alright, uh, research. Yes, our last one there. Let's go and do maybe another couple of those. These. Alright. And what else can we do? You know what? We should probably go ahead and make sure that all of these are working. Oh, open that shift up again. Thank you very much. Make sure that they're all upgrading. We'll open up the shifts. Um, do we really need nine? Possibly not, but we will find out. Alright. Pause for a second while the game quick saves. And that should be all we need for now. Oh, hang on a second. We do need some power, so... That will be all we officially need. Hmm. Hang on a second. What's going on there? Oh. Alright, there we go. Just didn't have that connected. Yes, I think the one thing that would be really good as far as uh, dealing with all of this is if we could actually just tell all of our triple electric scrubbers to cover the uh, maximum range as a standard. That would be very nice. And this one. Research complete. Ah, uh, well, that's just out of range, but again, that's it's fairly nominal, realistically. All right. Uh, drone hubs. How are we looking? We have six drones. You know what? Let's bring that up to eight. I think eight is a fair number, just in case something goes wrong. And what was another one of our drone buildings that was getting fairly uh, hectic? Was it this one here? Medium, yes. Let's go another two. You know what, let's make it uh, an even ten. That seems like a reasonable number. And then these guys, sixteen. Hmm. They are very busy. I have a lot of uh, toing and froing between all of these storages, so maybe we will we'll add another two. Alright. That should do nicely. Alright, now, did we end up... Yes, we did. We did end up expanding the mohole, which is fantastic. And so, what do we need now? We need... Ah, yes, we need to work on our polymer production. Okay. Well, that's not too bad, realistically. We can... Let's just see... Vacant work spots 10. Let's go there and see what they're counting as empty uh, spaces. So the infirmary, that's pretty bad. So is the diner. Okay, I can see why people are not happy here. Um, filter, let's go to our age group. Definitely don't want seniors. Ah, okay. What we're going to need to do is we'll just say thumbs up so yes but we won't demand that they go into this dome otherwise we clearly uh, have the same issues that we've got going on all right and what else over here again pretty well off we get back down to about 700 but if you look at our senior citizens that's 116 yeah complete. okay so, we're not quite fully sustained, um, but I think that was maybe because of a uh, death, not a death spiral per se, but a uh, death wave that went through uh, a handful of episodes ago. Yep, alright, and we've also got food. Our food is again slowly going down, so let's just make sure that that's all on the up and up. Uh, these domes are fully situated to be good. Uh, that's 
fine. That's our science dome. We're not meant to have food there. Now, over here, we do have a new one. Uh, that's producing... Well, well, it will produce a few more in a little while. And same with up here. Okay. Well, you should also be working hard. Yeah. Alright, you know what? That should be fine. Oh, hang on a second. We never changed things around. Okay. Well, that would explain a few things now, wouldn't it? Alright, let's go... Oh! Mask break. Right, that's what it was. I saw everything shake, and I thought for a second my game was glitching. Alright, well, you know what? Let's... Let's can the uh, quinoa. We don't need that, and we'll make that uh, corn. So that should automatically go through. And we will... What's this? 90? Yep, we can go around and make sure that we have those food storages sorted. Uh, sorry, the food uh, crop rotation sorted. Yep, alright. Well, let's have a look at this mask quake. Suddenly, the ground starts to rumble and office supplies begin to fall over your cabinet. Minutes later, a report comes in detailing the considerable damage done to several buildings by a mask quake. The epicenter of the unlikely event was pinpointed to be beneath the Mohol mine. The fact that the serious damage was done to buildings within the mine's vicinity also suggests that the Mohol mine has caused the quake. Okay, so we can shut down the Mohol mine and use concrete to stabilize the foundations, keep drilling, or, well, we can't do anything else because we're not an astrogeologist. So you know what? We have more than sufficient numbers as far as uh, what they'll provide. So let's go ahead and spend that concrete. All right. That should be fairly easy to sort. Yes, that should be uh, well and truly okay. Now, definitely got a few jobs that are vacant. Uh huh. Right, you know what? I think what we're going to do is let's be uh, let's be uh, let's go ahead and chuck in a handful of landing pads near each of our domes. Research complete. Now, again, I don't think it's completely necessary, but since we are trying to grow our population and we've got a bunch of old people. Maybe it wouldn't be crazy to think that uh, bringing in some more people would be a good idea. Actually, can we? And yeah, no, we can't squeeze one in there. We could possibly put one there. Eh, yeah, that seems a little out of the way. You know what? That would do perfectly. Alright. Anywhere else missing one? No, one's there, one's there. Here, and we already know there's one down on the other side. Alright, so you know what? Let's... Let's see, if we were to go to the resupply... Oh, we'd actually need to send off a rocket. Okay. Well, you know what? Maybe we go... Not as far, or... Okay, Parkinson. Let's... Let's turn on exports. Because if we're going to fly all the way back to Earth, we may as well get paid for it. And then we can see if it's actually worth investing in some more uh, Earth-born colonists to come to this place of ours. Right now we have two unemployed. How is that going along? Well, that'll fix itself, certainly, uh, most quickly. What do we need? Alright, well, you know what? We should turn the security station onto overdrive. And the infirmary, too. Have we done this? No, we still haven't done this for all of them. Alright. Uh huh. How many people do we have working here? Apparently, not enough. You know what we should do? We should definitely check out our. That's a, oh wait, that's a machine parts factory. Vera was thinking that that was a Martian, uh, what do you call it? University. So let's go ahead and see. 
puts the go. Yeah, very few people are being, uh, going through training. Alright, um, hmm. You know what, we should probably start putting a school and university in each location as well. May not necessarily be, uh, the be all and end all. But yeah, this is a... Yeah, we have a full mega... Oh no, we do have a university and school. We just don't have the children. Oh. Okay. Um... Let's go ahead and do the same thing here. We'll make sure that we have education sorted. Cultivates perks and children. Huh. You know what? Maybe we should be putting more playgrounds around. Yeah, you know what? Let's go into here and this stone garden. I was never huge on it anyway. But here I was thinking the, uh, the playground was actually a big... Uh, one of the large triangles. So we'll definitely swap that out. Uh, we can chuck in a playground over here. Oh no, you know what? We'll put that there. Near the infirmary. We'll also chuck in another decoration. Let's do a... Oh, let's go with a small garden. We can also then place down our education centres. So a school... We will put you, let's put you in the middle, and then let's do a university as well. We don't want to, yeah, we don't want to stop having an educated populace, because all of our people who are trained get bonuses if they're in their specialization. Yep, okay. Now, oh no. Alright, so, they're doing fine on the drones. I saw that pop up, but that was only for a second, so we're doing okay. And then what else do we need? Yeah, we just need a lot more population. Yeah, so you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, set them off. Return to Earth. <gasps> Alright, we literally uh, clicked that at the wrong time. Should have paused. Oh, uh, well. Uh, I guess we're stuck here waiting for a little bit. Right, how is this other dome going? Clendathu? So far so good. Still plenty of room. Uh, we do have, what is it, our university, our school. This is good. And you know what? We can also chuck in a playground now that we know that they are definitely uh, most beneficial. Let's chuck that in there. And, oh, hang on. Did we chuck in a farm? Yes. Alright, well, you know what? We will go over here and we will do the same again. Now, I do wonder if what we're doing is the best thing possible. Um, I do wonder whether we should be shutting it down so we can uh, improve our population centres and then add them up as we go. But I don't think it should make too much of a difference as long as our birth rate is good and our people are happy. Yeah, actually, hang on a second. Are those... Have I forgotten that those little spots are... Uh, what are they? Oh, we can. Okay. I forgot about those little... Uh, what do you call them? Those little spots are buildable areas. Alright, well, that should be fine. Um, again, as always nowadays, let's go ahead and make sure that we have... What is this? Uh, where's our school? Oh no, hang on, we're in services. That's right, we want a school. We want a university. And what else do we want? We will want a playground. So you know what, let's just go ahead and put that in... Let's just put that in there. We'll figure it out as we go. Hmm. Alright. So, uh, yeah. We're, we're doing fairly good. Also, too, if uh, you have been uh, watching along for this entire series, I uh, just wanted to thank you for your viewership. It's uh, It's been very good to see the amount of uh, people who have enjoyed the series by uh, everyone returning. 
Although, if that is the case and you have enjoyed this series, please do check that you are subscribed. At the moment, about 92% of my viewers do not actively subscribe to the channel, which, again, I know it, a lot of YouTubers say it, but it really does make a huge difference, especially as I'm starting out with all of this. Um, yeah, your support so far has been very much appreciated, and I do enjoy all of your uh, company. So yes, I just thought I would uh, throw that out there. If for some reason you think I have earned your subscription, I would be very honoured for you to uh, stay around. And hopefully we can continue to build a uh, an awesome channel and play some games that you want to see. All right, what? Uh, now just as a bit of a turn, oh, we never actually ended up looking at that polymer production issue, so we should probably quickly check that out. Um, it would be very bad to leave that as an extra issue. All right, so vacancies six and six, maintenance that's fine. Um. Art workshops are good. What are we doing? How can we fix this? Uh, amphitheater, security. We need... What do we need? Well, that's all sorted. We don't have any issues with the power production. That's all been transferred over to auto-regulation. Ah. Oh, you know what? We can, uh... We can buff up that scrubber there. Alright, so it looks like this station is going to be at that level uh, for a while. This place needs a couple more. Yeah, we're definitely going to need a couple. Uh, hmm. You know what? I think it wouldn't be out of the question. Oh, that's right. That's where we built our second... Second? third polymer factory make sure we do the amplify and the ai yes okay i put it in a spot that i completely forgot about like it's a perfect spot for it but oh well it's only good if i actually notice that that is the issue so if we have a look now our production oops, our production is now up to 19 and consumption is sitting mid-20s Okay, so, realistically, I actually think we have uh, solved that problem. Between these two domes, we should absolutely be able to make what we need. And you know what? We might even go so far as to put a second one down. As long as we're... Hmm. You know what? No. We'll wait a second. We'll see how many we're producing after we incorporate the factory AI. Yeah, that that should be. It should be enough Research to complete. stave off. Uh, yeah, an extra twenty percent on twenty. That's that'll be enough to give us more than we consume, and then as our population begins to re increase, we will be sorted as down here. Should get plenty of people. So, yeah, that polymer factory will start to build back up again. Again, just double checking that none of these buildings out here are taking away from other jobs. Nope. Fantastic. All right, then. Uh, let's go to our resupply and see. Passenger rocket unavailable. Oh. Oh, that's right. We couldn't send it off because of the dust storm. But it is gone now. But you know what? We'll say goodbye to the rocket and we will pick up with that in the next one and bring in some more people to fill out our colony on Mars. So until then, thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Cove. This is the Leviathan, signing out.